championships. Rich men. There are no real winners in this life. When the Lord uh, applied the curse to this life, that means that there is no more winners. It took it took the winners away. There, there are no champions. I think that's what I'll put on the beginning of this. There are no champions. Let me write that down. There. I can't just see the ring. I'll just remember. There are no champions. <coughs> um, the Lord told a story about this in the Bible. In Luke 12, I think it is. Um, one of the very famous statements that we know um, that the Lord talked about. He said, uh, What have man gained if he gain the whole world but lose his soul I think came out of this story we'll see here in a minute it's, it's, it's the rich man's barns a lot of you Bible study hours already know that where I'm going in this <clears throat> it says the ground of a, a Jesus was telling the story here the ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentiful and he thought with himself saying what shall I do because I have no room where to bestow my fruits. And he said, This will I do. I'll pull down my barns and build greater, and there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thy ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said to him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then who shall these things be which thou hast provided. So is he that layeth treasure for himself and is not rich toward God. And he said to the disciples, Therefore I say to you, take no thought of your life, what you shall eat, neither for your body, for what you shall put on it. The life is more than meat, the body is more than raiment. Consider the ravens, that they neither sow nor reap, which neither gather, uh, have storehouses nor barns, and God feedeth them. Yet, how much more are you better than they, than the fowls of the air? <clears throat> Excuse me. And which of you taking thought can add one cubit to his statue? If you then being not able to do that thing which is least, why take you thought for the rest? Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow, they toil not, they spin not, and yet Solomon in all of his glory was not arrayed like one of these. Okay. And he goes on to say in these things do the nations God knows what you have need of before you ask. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. There's no real winners in this life. People on Wall Street, they um bid billions of dollars. It's, it's it's nothing to them. You know, a slight risk to some of them is is investing a billion dollars so they can make two the next day. You know, that's a that's a slight risk to them. <laughs> Buildings that cost multi millions of dollars they buy and sell every day, you know. And one man's gotta come out on top of the other. You know, I sold a water softener today, yesterday, that I paid four thousand dollars for, and I sold it for seven hundred. Those folks would love to see me come to Wall, uh, Wall Street because I'd be broke the next day. You know, <laughs> deal like that. But <clears throat> this life is not really. It's this is not really uh, about making money. This life is about caring for people. This life is about making sure that people's spiritual needs are met. This life is not really about um, seeing who can get at the top of the heap the quickest. 
they make a big deal out of this guy was president at this age and this guy owned so much money at this age and this guy bought his first car at that age and on and on and on and that's all about worldly things you know the president of the United States now when they first started out it used to be uh, a godly type of thing because we are running a godly country you know <coughs> but not today it's a dog pile today and you know the longer the Lord waits uh, to come the more discouraged I get but the longer that I live the more hope that I have for that place over there talking to a truck driver today uh, he invited me over to his cabin I said you come to my mansion he says you and you can come to my cabin I said well you know what I said you come to mine too because I'm gonna have a mansion and a cabin <laughs> truthfully I don't think there is any cabins in the corner of glory land um, this fellow he was from the south and they sing that old song down there you know cabin in the corner of glory and when I was growing up down there that's all I thought too a lot of times I thought about the, the cabin, you know, if I could just make it in, if I could just get a cabin, I wouldn't really need a mansion, but the Bible says, it doesn't say anything about any cabins over there, even though I imagine there could be some, and, uh, you know, I don't mind a cabin, I'll take whatever the Lord gives me, but it says mansion, and I take the word, the Lord at his word, amen. Um, so, so to, to add it all up, if you really want to be a winner, if you're after a real mansion, seek for that home above. Because the homes down here don't last too long. They start falling apart, you know. I just moved into a new house here. And it's a FEMA trailer is what it is. And I'm not sure how they put these things together, but it looks like it was pretty well built or intended to be. But I, you know, even in that, I'm not really looking forward to the, to the um, security and comfort of this place. I'm looking for the security and comfort of what God can give, you know, to that place over there. And, and I'd like to tell you about this place. I got a really good deal on it. It take me four years to pay it off if I hold my mar marbles right, you know. And wherein it would took another 22 years to pay the other one off, the one I moved out of. So, so we're definitely better now. God, God has put us in a place where we can, we can serve Him, you know. And we're gonna do the best. All right. So lay your treasures up in heaven. God bless you. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you again next time. Another great subject right here, cross in the middle ministry.